Here's the reality. The image yeah. of a white Jesus has been used to justify enslavement, conquest, colonialism, the genocide of indigenous peoples. There are literally millions of human beings whose lives have been snuffed out by people who conquered under the banner of a white god. That is a far more significant problem than whether a black writer in 2013 suggests somewhat humorously, but perhaps seriously, that we should change Santa to a penguin. Santa. No one's going to die because of that iconography. The white Jesus, white God imagery has literally <sighs> resulted in death. That's Santa. something folks ought to deal with. What Megyn Kelly said was very simply, quote, Santa is white, end of quote, and so is Jesus. So I think the real issue is, you know, if you want to make a joke about Santa's whiteness, here's a way to do it that would not presume white normalcy or that white is the norm. You could say, for instance, and I would, that if there were Santa, he'd have to be white because no black man could break into millions of homes even if he was bearing presents and not be shot by some neighborhood watch captain. That's a way to be funny, but Fox News would never do that because that would presume that they had to admit racial profiling and racism were real. So there's that. I think the real issue is that she made a statement of fact, not for her own opinion, but fact. There's a difference between believing in Santa and believing in Jesus or the Buddha. Buddha did not come from Kansas. Jesus was not born in a manger in central Pennsylvania. He was a man of color, and the fact that we have represented him for centuries, literally as a white man, speaks to the entire history of white supremacy. We can act like it didn't happen. We can make it the punchline of a joke, but the reality is this iconography, Jesus more so than Santa, I agree with Mel here, Jesus more so than Santa is a real problem. There's a reason we've represented these okay. icons as white. It's not a coincidence that we've done that. Okay, do you think there's something inherently wrong? I understand well, what you're saying that a white Jesus has been used to, to, to do horrible things, but here's, here's the, the difference. And Reza, okay. Reza is right. No, Rez is right, but the difference is that the power of others to make Jesus or to make Christ as they view him has never come close to the power of the European power to make Jesus white. In other words, black folks can think Jesus is black and view Christ as black, but at the end of the day, the image that has been used to dominate Christianity in this world and on this planet is the white image. So therefore, you can believe, you, you can think Jesus looks like whatever you want or that Christ looks like whatever you want. Ultimately, though, there is such a thing as power and it's not equitable. And so if certain people have been able to impose their image of the Christ, of the Savior on others, or God, or Adam and Eve, the first human beings ostensibly as white people to believe that that doesn't have an effect is to believe that advertising doesn't have an effect it's to okay. believe that companies that spend billions of dollars don't actually sell you stuff based on the images they use which is nonsense I want my brothers all praises to you how about shimmy how shy is your brother Ayathun now see some people are watching and be like see that that's a white man that can be saved that's a there's an Edomite that can be saved <laughs> nah Number one, the scriptures tell you that East, the most high, is going to cause Esau, Esau's tongue to fall upon himself. Because you know what? As the time gets nearer and nearer to the end, the most high is going to make it so that Esau is going to be like a rat trapped in the corner. And the most high is going to use certain Edomites to snitch on other Edomites. Now, my personal belief is that that dude, that devil, I believe he's a Jake. Okay? And the most high has a lot of Edomite looking uh, Jake's in the media in high places and the most high is going to put this, the scriptures say the most high is going to put this poor spirit on all flesh now the lord can use a devil right because uh, we've been in situations where the lord will raise up put his spirit on a devil to stand up for us in court or whatever what have you but you also got a lot of edomites that are jakes and they're in high places because of their their skin color all right they got up in high places and certain things they're pissed off about you know like this j like that devil right there you could tell he as far from what i see he's he was convincing you know he was convincing he, he's coming from his his soul and he's literally like pissed off at the shit that's going on you know so um there's gonna be edomites or uh jakes in high places that look like edomites that the most high is gonna put his spirit on when shit, you know, when shit gets heavy, whenever the Lord's ready, and they're gonna speak up against the devil, gonna speak up against America, all right. So that's part of the Lord throwing a monkey wrench in uh, Esau's um Esau's plan. But anyway, on with the lesson is basically, man, what does what he was breaking down is that images are very important. You know, whenever you bring up to Esau that uh, the so-called white man that Yahweh the Lord was a so-called black man they always say well well color doesn't matter color doesn't matter which is a which is a effing lie 
Okay, it's an effing lie. If that's the case, this man would have to come on here and, and explain all that. And if color doesn't matter, how come they didn't use the actual color of Yahweh Shai? You know, well, why did I have to change it up? So, um, if you do a Google search on power of images, as I did here, I mean, there's a bunch of articles here that show you the, the power of images because images are very powerful. Okay, now you brothers out there um, that know social media, in social media, if you want to sell anything, just like my man was breaking down, okay, for them to say that color doesn't matter, images don't matter, that would you would have to say that marketing doesn't work. Now, in marketing, uh, pictures are very important, especially colors. When you when you create a business, when you do your logo, when you do your marketing, there's certain images that you got to stick to for your brand. There's certain colors to give that give a certain vibe to your business. So all of that is very, very important. So Esau knows what the hell he's doing. He, the scriptures say what? That he's wiser than Daniel. So he knows how to use colors. He knows how to use images. He knows how they work on the brain. Okay? Now, people, we remember things by images. That's why when you're a little kid, you know, you got the pop-up books. And all the books, as a, as a small child, is a lot of images, cartoons, and images in the books because that's how our brain remembers things. You know, we rem remember things in pictures and in images, you see? So what Esau has done is Esau took this image, okay, without the horns and all that and the tongue, and he put that out there as an image of whom the world calls Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High. Now, after a couple of generations, you know, when the kids die off and the children die off, this is the only image out there that's being pushed the previous generations are gone. The scriptures say that we're going to discontinue from our heritage. This is part of the curses. And so this image was pushed through the name of colonialism, through the name of um, imperial, imperial, imperialism, you see? So the spirit now is waking us up pursuant to Revelation 11 chapter, okay, and stirring up our minds pursuant to the scriptures to wake us up to the, to the true image. Now... Now that this image is being pushed out there, okay, this image right here, okay, that the spirit put on a certain brother <laughs> in GMS to, uh, to come up with this, this, this uh, sign here, okay, this image is the new image now being taken over the freaking the earth, right? If you put in, um, let me see, if you put in this, right? Because, hold on, or if you do like false, damn, my typing's off. Yeah, but my point is, earlier when I did the search, I, can, I just came up with a whole bunch of images. Yeah, here you go. See now, through, man, I'm going to say it's through the spirit, through the spirit, through GMS has pushed this out there. Because when, before we came on YouTube, nobody was, nobody was pushing this. You know, that he's a devil. Nobody is pushing this identity theft. They got, that's another one of our signs that they got. Okay. Now, the, 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 the image I had up originally was, um, I don't know who this brother is. But um, just proving that this is, um, you know, through the spirit, the most high put, had put us put us out there. See, that's our, that's our sign. This is our sign over here. You know, the scriptures say, right, I mean, it says right here, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. I mean, who's pushing that? Nobody else but uh, Great Millstone. And double honest to the elders of Great Millstone, okay? So through, this, through us, the spirit has been pushing this image out here, and we're breaking the image, okay? And I got a couple scriptures on deck. I'm going to bring them out after. But images are very powerful, okay? Images are very powerful because that's how I remember things. Now, Esau being a damn devil, talking about uh, color doesn't matter and all that, this is my answer to them, right? Now, if you go here, boom. This is an article. It took me a while to find this, all right? The incoherent backlash is to black actors playing white superheroes. Basically, you brothers know that recently, well, not even recently, throughout the history of movies, anytime that they, now, anytime they propose or they show a, biblical character on TV or on the media, it's always an Edomite, right? The Edomites are every are everybody. They're all the great warriors, they're the Persians and Medes, um, they're the Babylonians, they're the Egyptians, they're the children of Israel. Okay, the only thing that they're not is the devil, 
Whenever they want to play the devil, they get somebody that doesn't look like an Edomite at all. Okay, pursuant to Isaiah 29, 16, everything is effing, they flipped everything backwards, okay? But if color doesn't matter, why is it that when there's no outrage when the biblical movies come out by Edomites, no outrage at all, but soon as they found out that um, Michael B. Jordan was going to be the, in the Black Panther, they, 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 they wanted to ban the movie, as soon as they found out that uh, Israel's Elba played um, the gatekeeper in, in Thor, they wanted to ban the damn movie. As soon as they found out that Israel's elbow was was gonna cast for the role of James Bond, they wanted to ban the movie. Okay, and in all reality, all these so-called superheroes are dark men anyway. They all come from Israel, Superman, Israelites. Okay, even uh, his Clark, the names Clark Kent. Okay, the word Clark comes from clerk, which goes back to the word priest. The priests are Israelites. You know, call out all powerful, all Israelites. Okay, all the superheroes on TV should be dark skinned men. All the superheroes and all the great warriors that have accomplished great things on the earth throughout the entire history have all been Israelites, dark skinned men. Now, let me read a small thing in this article, and I'm going to read here. It says, The outcry over interracial casting here appears to be much more muted. Then the stir over Idris Elba's role as um, Hamadal in the Thor franchise, right? Which I just spoke about, which provoked boycott threats. You see, still I've seen people on Twitter talking about how the casting will ruin the franchise. Now let me go down some. Boom, boom. Okay. Now here's here's the point, right? It says people say that they object to black casting because it's untrue to the original source material and a betrayal of the characters. A claim that seems particularly dicey in the case of the Hunter Games, where Rue is black in the original novel, but blah, 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 right? We could read on. Now, we ain't gotta go into the scriptures, man, but you, you, you brothers have seen the Ten Commandments, right, with Charlton Heston, and every other biblical movie that got Edomites playing, J characters, but there has not been one, not one, since my time on this earth, I ever heard any outbreak, outcry, or threats of boycotting any any of them flicks. So that shows you that Esau, the so-called white man, is a goddamn hypocrite and the devil, and the father of it, just like it says in John 8, 44. Now I'm going to close out with a couple scriptures, and I will go over all the color scriptures, but you, you know, you brothers know them by now, or you should know them. <laughs> Alright? Now talking about well, matter of fact, let's first start with 2 Timothy, right? 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse um, 16. I'm going to go straight to the point. It says, All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. You see? Now, we always say that um, when somebody asks us, well, why does color matter? Well, that's the scripture right there. It matters for truth's sake and also for identity's sake. When you see Edomites playing the Lord... And playing all the, the great men in the scriptures, you can't identify with them. Jake cannot identify with them. The children of Israel, the true children of Israel, cannot identify with them because the image doesn't match them. You see? But the scriptures give you clear, clear, detailed, okay, descriptions of the children of Israel. So it does matter. The scriptures even me mention um, how they look. It mentions the word facade. Okay, which is a picture of what they look like. You see? I'm going straight to the point. Lamentation 4 and 7, describing Israelites. Their, their visage is blacker than a coal. You see? Their visage, with the word visage, is, is, um, can be swapped out for the word picture or for the word image. You see? So the scriptures mention their image or their visage, and it says that they are dark. You see? Now we know why Job 9.24, see, through the spirit of the Lord waking up the prophets and the men of the Lord and the elect, the Most High has given us the eye salve to know who the hell the devil is. And the Most High has um, created it, so now more and more artifacts. You know, now a lot of artifacts about the uh, northern tribes are coming out that they're Israelites, certain stones and relics that are being found with human, I mean with Hebrew inscriptions. Okay, and they date back way, 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 way before the Edomites ever stepped foot in them lands. So they didn't get that from the Edomites. 
okay, because that's their lineage. They spoke Hebrew, which they lost through the conquest, through imperialism, through colonialism. Now, at least let's read Job 9.24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, which we know is a so-called white man. That is the wicked. He is the devil that the Bible speaks of. The word devil means deceiver. This right here is a deception. You see? And in, our, and in the news clip we just watched, all my man was talking about how the whole entire world has been deceived and many deaths have occurred and killings over this goddamn image, which is a false image. It says, um, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And who are the judges? Right here. Okay? I guarantee you, if I tap in the Last Supper, it's going to be a, a bunch. Watch. Watch this. Okay? See? Covered the faces of the judges thereof. Okay? Now, one of the disciples look like any of these devils you see here. This is complete bullshit. All right? So this is why images are important, and this is why the color of the Lord matters. You see? And, brother, that's all I want to bring out, just something quick and simple, you know? You brothers already know this, but this is more firepower, you know, ammo for you to, for you to fire back with next time, you know, you're in a situation. You know, you want to streets. Anyway, with that, my brother, I'm going to say shalom. I'll praise to you. How about Shimmy? How was shy? Um, double honor to the apostles and shalom to the elect out there and to you sisters out there that follow and believe. Shalom.